Hello students. In this class, we'll see various output devices and their basic functionalities, means how did basically work. So we have lot of output devices and uh, uh, with every technological advancement, we get a new kind of device. I'm not talking about only output device, we get new kind of device. So we need to update ourselves with these technologies. So in our previous class, we saw various input devices and here we'll see output devices. So first of all, we must know what is an output device. So an output device is any piece of computer hardware which convert info information into human readable form. It can be a text, graphics, tactile, audio or video. So output device is any device through which we get our computer output, we get output from a computer. It may be in form of text, video, audio. It may be in form of printed form. So we have various output devices. So the most common, the most widely used and the very important output device, of course, is a monitor. The computer's a screen, okay? The monitor is also known as display device. So a display device is most common form of output device. You all know this thing, but we'll see some more in this. It presents output visually on the computer screen. So we all know this. So type of display or type of monitor. So the first one here is monochrome display. So I just said to you that various technologies are used for making various devices. So one of these uh, is the monochrome. It is one of the older devices. A monochrome monitor is type of CRT. Now what is CRT? I'll discuss. CRT's full form is cathode ray tube. Or uh, look at this. This is the cathode uh, tube, cathode ray tube. And a ray is emitted and it's a screen, fluorescent coated screen, where this uh, electron is emitted here and images are formed. So actually understanding uh, this uh, in the first single class will not be uh, easy for you. But let me know that this is the old technology. You know, at our homes also, we would have seen a larger TVs uh, which looks similar to this a screen is there and the back side is a little big nowadays of course we see flat panels uh, flat tvs are there now coming thin but earlier or uh, in most of our houses these kind of tvs are also televisions are also available which had a cathode ray emitter i mean the electron gun it is also known as and the electron is emitted Electron beam is emitted and it falls on the fluorescent screen and it displays any moving or a still image. So let's once read this also. It is one of the technology. This may come in your exam also. What is CRT? The cathode ray. A cathode ray tube is a vacuum tube that contains one or more electron gun. Electron gun is something which emits electron. Now, what is electron? Why, why it is emitted? Uh, you need to learn a little more, but not in this class. So just for a light idea, as we know that uh, if you want to travel through a vehicle like car, then we may, may need to put petrol in it. Uh, and petrol goes to the engine and combustion takes place and the piston moves and it moves the engine and all. So in short, we just need to know that petrol with petrol, we can drive a car the same way. Uh, first, you take a light idea about how these things are working. No need to go in much depth in the first class. So, if you need to know what is this, a cathode ray tube technology, so first of all, I would like to tell you the older uh, TVs that is that may be still present at our homes or bigger monitors you might have seen nowadays of course we use uh, flat panel monitors but still in some places you may see a larger monitors which are nowadays obsolete um, obsolete means they are out of market mostly but uh, we still need to know their technology so a 
cathode ray tube is there. What is a cathode ray tube? It is a vacuum tube that contains one or more electron gun. One or more electron guns for emitting various uh, electrons, rays. And a phosphorescent screen. This fluorescent screen, which is also known as phosphorescent screen. What is phosphorescent screen or fluorescent screen? Uh, the good thing about or the, the property of that fluorescent screen is when an electron beam falls on it, that particular place eliminate. It eliminate. Eliminate, eliminate means uh, it lights up. That particular place in the screen, in the whole screen. Look, this is a fluorescent screen. And the electron beam fall is falling here, and only this place will be will be eliminated, or anywhere on the screen, wherever the electron beam beam is falling, that place will eliminate, and that eliminated uh, particles, you may say, forms any still image or any moving image. So, learning uh, in depth technology may be not easy for you. So let us precise the things and let us uh, learn only that one of the monitor is monochrome. Look, mono means what? Single, single color display. I mean, black and white TV. We are talking about black and white, you may call it grayscale. So it's older technology, uh, which uses CRT computer display, which was very common in early days of computing. Early days from 1960s through 1980s. Uh, till this, monochrome displays were used, 1980s. This whole decade of 1980s, this were used before color monitor became popular. After that, color monitor started coming. Mm. The most important uh, component in the monitor is picture tube. We have all must, we all have must heard it somewhere, picture tube. So actually, this is the picture tube, okay? This kind of whole thing, this whole setting is known as picture tube. Okay, so CRT basically means cathode ray tube. A CRT use cathode ray tube technology to display image. So they are large, bulky, and heavy, like conventional or old television. Because old television also used CRT technology to display television film or television image. To form the image on the screen, an electron gun. Now here starts the main thing that is wants to tell you. Sealed inside the large glass tube, fires six electron. Fires means emit, emits electron at phosphorus coated screen. A screen is there, which is coated with the phosphorus material, fluorescent material, to light up the appropriate pixel. Now here comes the most important word in the world of uh, display screen. The pixel is pixels are picture elements. It is a derived word from the word picture elements. Picture elements means what? The picture elements are small dots. They are still used in the newer technology also. Pixels are the small dots, very tiny dots. And each dot combined together to form any image. Let me show you with a simple example. Huh? Let me paint brush. Look, this is a, a screen, suppose, and look, tiny dots I'm making. Okay. Now, slowly it is taking form of a circle. Now, if dots will be more closer to each other, I'm making a little closer. Now, the picture is getting sharper than the before. So these are the pixels. These are the pixels which are there in the which are there on the computer screen. And each pixel get eliminated. And suppose that if you have to form a shape like this, then the electron gun will emit an electron beam on the screen in this way, and this kind of image will be formed. And if the picture is sharp, then what kind of image we see? We see like this clear picture. The dots are very close to each other high density, HD we call it. So, you might be getting these things. 
uh, since it is your first class, maybe a little hard to understand, but still, if you just try to understand, you will get it. So, light up the appropriate pixel in the appropriate color to display the image. Now, this is about the color pixels, uh, color televisions or color monitors. Earlier, monochrome, only black and white uh, display were there. But after color monitor came, came there were more electron guns for different colors and the color combines to form image in the, on the screen. Thus, phosphor glow only for a limited period of time. The exposure of the electrons. It's quite simple to understand. The phosphorus screen is eliminated as long as the electron beam is falling over that. If it stops, then it, it also get, uh, stops eliminating. So the monitor image must be redrawn or refreshed continual basis. So in CRT technology, if something has to be displayed regularly, then it has to be refreshed several number of times a second. Okay. Typically, refreshment rate are between 60 to 85 times a second. Means in a second, 60 to 85 times that if since what is the case? The phosphorus screen can only eliminate uh, the image for a while. And once the electron beam stops, it also stops eliminating. So if something has to be displayed over the screen for the longer time, then it need to be refreshed. I mean, the electron beam need to be fall on that place uh, regularly or at this rate. 60 to 80 times a second so that that particular set of pixels get uh, uh, remain eliminated and you could see in a still or moving image. <coughs> so with time and if you'll try in Iran, you'll get more about the uh, more idea about these things. So <coughs> let us now uh, continue our discussion. Now color display. So what is color display? Use the same technology, but the color monitor uses sometimes called RGB monitor. What is RGB? RGB stands for red, green, and blue. So the RGB color model is an additive color model in which red, green, and blue lights are added together in various ways to reproduce broad array of color. The name of model come from the initials of the three additive primary color. Look, dear students, here I would like to add one more one point. Uh, colors are made by combining, uh, are made with the different uh, techniques, but one of the technique is RGB. If you have red, if you have green, and if you have blue, then adding these color in different ratios can make, can form different enormous colors. So this RGB technology means what? Uh, in these kind of monitors, we have a gun, electron gun, which emits red color, green color, and blue color, basically. But these colors combine in a step different ways to form different color over the color screen. So this is how we get color display in what kind of televisions? In the CRT technology, okay? Because they accept three separate signals and so they form uh, various colors. In contrast, as compared to a monochrome monitor can display only two colors, one for the background and one for the foreground. Background means background, either background will be black and foreground the text will be white or the background will be white and text will be black. So kind of this. Color monitor implements RGB color monitor model by using three different phosphors that appeared red, green, and blue when activated. Different phosphorus uh, coating is there, a little complicated technology, but still you need to know this. And as the electron beam falls on them, they eliminate with the different colors. And by combining this, those colors, different ratio, we get various colors. By placing the phosphor directly next to each other and activating them with different intensities, color monitor can create unlimited number of colors. So phosphorus uh, screen is there. 
where different in intensities of electron beam is uh, emitted and they combine different colors to form unlimited number of colors or almost all kind of color that you could, you could see. In practice, however, the real number of color that any monitor can display is controlled by video adapter. Video adapter is something which you control the color. Okay. So this is the video card which controls everything. So now monitor display type include. So we have various technology of making monitors. So the one is CRT. This is what that's just now we discussed. One is thin film transistor. A thin film transistor, which is also known as, known as TFT LCD, liquid crystal display, is a variant of liquid crystal display that uses thin film transistor technology to improve image quality, such as addressability and contrast. A TFT LCD is an active metric LCD in contrast to passive metric LCD or simple direct driven LCDs. So now these are so many technical terms. You need to understand what is a transistor, what is a thin film transistor, but let us see if any image will be there. Let me look. This is the microscopic diagram of the pixel, uh, pixel layout of a TFT. So instead of wanting these things, you can see this also image of TFT monitors. Look same, these, these are TFT monitors. TFT, LED, OLEDs all look same, but the technology hidden behind them is a little different. So at your level, it's quite, uh, um, it is only important to learn the full form if you know, TFT. TFT LCD means thin, thin film transistor liquid crystal display which uses this technology to, to display images. A flat panel. Flat panel display is an electronic viewing device used to enable people to see the content of it. It is a flat device. TFT is also a flat panel display, okay? Now liquid crystal display. Now this image may tell you something. This kind of image you might be watching in the display devices in the calculators or watches. So a liquid crystal display is a flat panel display or other electronically modulated optical device that uses light modulating properties of liquid crystal combined with polarized polarizers. Liquid crystal do not emit light directly instead using the backlight or reflector to produce image in the color. So this again is very technical uh, statement. So in short, liquid crystal uh, display is similar to this, what you see the calculator and uh, in watches you may have seen this uh, liquid crystal display so liquid crystal display this is the earlier model of liquid crystal display. but nowadays liquid crystal look in 1960s 1970s 80s 2010 there are a lot of advancement in this liquid crystal day technology so you can see some examples, an LCD screen used as notification for traveler. In railway station, you might have seen this LCD screen. In uh, this uh, calculator kind of instrument, you might see the LCD display. In watches, you may see. So various generations are there of liquid crystal display and the advancement in them. So with time, they became better and better. You can see the history of this liquid crystal display. So when you get time, you just, uh, <clears throat> I mean, see more about these things. So these are the liquid crystal display. So let's go back. Another technology is OLED. It's a new technology and Organic light emitting diode. LED's full form is light emitting diodes. Diodes are electronic comp components and light emitting diodes are the diodes which emit lights. Nowadays we see LED bulbs also. Emitting light emitting diodes emit the light. The same way 
using the same technology we are making led monitors hmm, of which organic light emitting diode is one of the variation is light emitting diode in which emissive electroluminescent layer is a film of organic compound that emit lights in response to an electric current this organic layer is situated between two electrodes so this is telling you more about uh, the technology hidden technology but at your level you just need to know that oled is one of the technology which displays uh, which is used for making display devices you may see oled tv or oled monitor look as i said lcd tft led oled all look similar they all are flat panel displays but uh, the hidden technology is different in these devices so so if you really want to know more about them then you need to study so right now uh, we just need to know what are various display devices or what are output devices so simple led is this light emitting diode you may see these are the leds uh, this is the hidden technology behind them and uh, these leds are also used for making display devices so these are larger leds let us see the image of look this is all the led so led oled lcd tft they all look similar there is a difference between the technology but they are look similar they are full flat panel displays so at your level if you are knowing only the full form then also it's enough for you and you can see that if you need to know more about them then you have lot of uh, and uh, things where you can see these things now let us know about printers printer are such devices which are used for outputting anything over the paper paper or flex material or anything so in computing a printer is a peripheral device which make persistent representation of graphics text on paper while most output is human readable barcode printers are an example of uh, oh this is starting telling about more about in our last class we saw the barcode and printers can also print barcodes huh? so the basic thing is printers are such devices which are used for getting output over the paper okay so we have various technology for making printers also so so here you can see lot of uh, uh, i mean technology modern modern print technology so let us see the modern print technology ones one is the laser printer so let us try to learn the laser printer laser printing is an electrostatic digital printing process it produces high quality text and graphics by repeatedly passing a laser beam back and forth over a negatively charged cylinder called the drum to define a differentially charged image the drum then selective colors the actually and the printed over the paper so this text is uh, so much technical let me simplify you and tell you what is a laser printer and uh, one more thing i'd like to tell you there are basically two types of printers one is impact printers we may find it there impact printers and another is non impact printers uh let us see the differences first because that is given in a book
impact printer and non impact printers okay so an impact printer is either a dot matrix printer or printer with a ball that rotates turns to select single character both of these use ink ribbon and they stamp an image into paper there is a non impact printer having cartridge and the print head uh, injects ink directly into on the paper so more differences you can find first of all in order to understand printers you need to understand these differences i'll tell you don't worry this is a type of printer it's about impact printer the printer means the device which outputs over the paper or anything over which we can print it may be a glass material it may be a plastic material anything but mostly it is a paper impact printer it is a type of printer that works by direct contact of an ink ribbon with paper you might have seen a typewriter where inked ribbon is there and we type something and the character hits hits strikes the ribbon and the image get transferred to the the ink get transferred to the paper forming an image so all such printers which uses hitting technology hitting means striking hitting striking over the ink ribbon and then the things get printed over there all such printer which forcefully put some impact on the paper impress on the paper all those such printers are known as impact printers so these printers are typically loud but remain in use today because of their unique ability to function with multi part forms an impact printer has mechanisms resemble those of typewriter means mostly all the uh, impact printers are are using the technology similar to the typewriter for example dot matrix printer we'll see more about these printers uh, in our next class but I have a light idea about this dot matrix printer you can find in banks if you go for printing your passbook statement the a transaction statement over the passbook then there also you use the dot matrix printer dot matrix printer displays the displays are made made out of dots You might have seen just suppose A has to be printed, then dot 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 kind of this image is formed with the help of dots. A daisy wheel printer again is a printer having a wheel, and over the wheel, lot of petals are there. In every petal, uh, characters are imposed, and they rotate, and whichever character has to be printed, it strikes the ribbon, and the character gets printed. And a similar kind of printer is a line printer. we'll see more about all these printers in our next class in this class let us only try to understand what is impact printer and what is non impact what is non impact printer it is a type of printer that does not hit or strikes on a ribbon they use either laser zero graphic electrostatic chemical or ink jet technology they are silent printer whereas the impact printer are noisy printer they make noise whereas the non impact printers works smoothly they either inject uh, the ink or use the laser technology to print the things they normally produces high quality image a non -pr uh, printers are generally much quieter they are less likely to need maintenance and repair and uh, an example are inkjet thermal and laser so thank you students in our next video we'll see more about these printers so thank you